Welcome, welcome, welcome to Casa Naturals. Welcome, welcome to Hey Tutorials. Healthy, healthy lifestyle. Flawless skin. DIY. Welcome to Casa Naturals Tutorials. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Casa Naturals. Welcome, welcome to Hey Tutorials. Healthy, healthy lifestyle. Flawless skin. DIY. Welcome to Casa. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Casa Naturals. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make herbal hair growth all using eight herbs, natural ingredients for hair loss, hair growth, homemade oil. So we are going to use uh, three grams of um, fenugreek. So that is how our fenugreek looks like. And we're going to use one gram of our name, fresh leaves. I don't have uh, dry leaves, so I opted to go for fresh leaves. And we're going to use some amla. Uh, two grams of uh, amla and we're going to use um rosemary a uh, peppermint that's actually peppermint that is four grams and our clove three grams of our clove so all these products like they promote hair growth i'm going to use some um, moringa four grams of moringa powder and uh two grams of hibiscus leaves Yes, that is how they look like. And uh, in this bowl, we have uh, rosemary and hibiscus. That is actually four grams. So like I had used this before, so I had to reuse it. Like it works very well. It's still concentrated. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And give this video a like and comment in the section below, friends, if you have used these herbs before. And give this video a like. Moringa contains many you know, nutrients that support hair growth and uh, it's rich in antioxidants which is an addition to its anti-inflammatory properties make it great for the scalp issues. It also supports growth of healthy hair. So the antioxidants properties of uh, Moringa all supports the growth of healthy hair follicles and hair growth starts with a healthy scalp. It will also prevent you know, uh, damage and it has a number of uh, you know, um, ingredients or rather minerals which actually will prevent breakage and uh, which can do uh, hair like uh, both good. So peppermint, peppermint promotes growth and um, it has been researched. Research suggests that peppermint use uh, actually performs better than Minexo, which is a hair growth product approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. So it has the menthol component in a peppermint oil has been shown to increase blood flow to the scalp and hence promoting hair growth. Clove promotes hair growth. It also contains eugenol, which promotes hair growth when applied to the scalp. This compound contains antimicrobial and, and inflammatory Properties that can be beneficial for scalp. Jujuna also has certain androgen properties. It can slow down the effects of androgens, you know, hence promoting uh, or boost hair growth in people suffering from androgenic alopecia. Fenugreek promotes hair growth. It will detangle your hair. It will show shine and uh, promote hair growth. Amla will thicken the hair. If your hair is thickening out, it will appear more voluminous and it promotes uh, hair growth. So all these herbs, like they promote hair growth. If you ha having, you know, hair loss or thinning hair, this oil is going to work wonders for your hair. So we are also adding in our hibiscus. Hibiscus will bring shine to your hair will curb hair loss, it will prevent premature graying, and it will promote hair growth. And um, these herbs these actually will also darken your hair. If you are having issues with uh, gray hair, they will promote hair growth. And um, rosemary oil will promote hair growth. It will stimulate hair growth. And it's, all these herbs have been researched like they do promote hair growth. So... Once our herbs like uh, they are ready, we are going to pour in our oil. So we are going to use um, grapeseed oil. So this is how the herbs look like. 
Yes. So now, lastly, we are adding in our neem. Neem has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties which promote hair growth, and uh, it will treat dandruff, it will treat an itchy scalp. So we are going to use grapeseed oil. That is actually 150 grams of our grapeseed oil. So grapeseed oil is a lighter oil that will promote hair growth. It will prevent frizz and it will lock in the moisture. So you can use any oil that you have, but I opted to go for grapeseed oil because I have it in abundance. So even um, different oils, carrier oils, they can work. So now we are adding in our oil into our beaker. I've gotten a um, heat-resistant beaker because we're going to do a hot water bath to infuse our oil. And then we're going to give it a stir. Make sure that you stir it. You combine all the apes together, as you can see. So friends, like uh, this is a powerful oil that actually can treat thinning hair, hair loss, bald patches, yes, alopecia. You know, if uh, your hair is thinning out due to um, hairstyles, you know, glue, it will really works, work. So we are adding in our water. Of course, I've just used uh, cold water today. And then we are going to put it on heat. And then we are going to let it infuse for 1 hour 30 minutes. So make sure that um, you set it on low setting. Yes, or you can use a double bi boiler method. So it's been actually, you know, 1 hour 30 minutes and we are stirring our apes. As you can see, like they've infused well and um, they look like... Uh, <laughs> They have reduced to a smaller quantity, as you can see, meaning that they have infused very well. So at this point, we are going to um, put it aside and let it cool. Make sure that you let it cool. Don't strain it when it is hot. So that is, that is how it looks like. As you can see, it has infused so well. So friends, subscribe to our channel. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you know, in as much as I love sharing, I want this channel to grow so that we can actually reach a bigger audience. So now I'm going to use this gadget because, you know, we have some, we had some herbs. We had some uh, powders in our, you know, herb, uh, in our oil. So you have to make sure that you strain so that all the oils, you don't have any, uh, you know, residues remaining in your hair. And make sure that you use a fine strainer, friends, or any gadget that you think can uh, strain well without leaving any residues will actually work very well. So as you can see, our oil is coming out bit by bit and you need to be very patient as you can see. So like I'll leave it and continue like until we have extracted the oil. So you can use this oil for the scalp, like you massage it in your scalp. You can use it for hot oil treatments. You can seal it. You can use it to seal in the moisture, like you rub it in in on your scalp and uh, sealing in the moisture in the lock method and uh, moisturizing. You can add it to your deep conditioner. You can actually use it um, in your hair oil formulations because they will promote hair growth. All these apes are very very you know effective in promoting hair growth so that is how they look like our all look like it looks very well and it has infused very well look at that the color has really changed so now i'm going to use um i'm going to add in some essential oils we are going to use some peppermint oil we are going to use lavender and tea tree oil which are antimicrobial uh properties which uh, and they promote hair growth they'll stimulate hair growth and they will give this all a beautiful smile you know and now uh, we are just going to use in use uh, one gram of each oil. You don't have to go heavy handed with essential oils because they are very potent and they are highly effective. So you just need uh, not too much, but uh, in smaller quantities. So that is the reason why I had to go in with uh, some uh, in grams, actually just one gram of each and give it a stir. And the oil is ready at this point. So you can use it in any way, like I mentioned earlier on. So, of course, one day I'm going to show you how I'll be using this oil. Of course, today I'm not going to apply it in my hair. Yes. So subscribe to our channel and give this video a like and comment in the section below, friends. Like, I love interacting. So at this point, we have gotten our bottle and we are packaging our oil. 
so and you have to make sure that uh, you label your content because you know what uh, if you are making different O's like in my case sometimes you may forget so I'm going to label it after you know packaging it at this point so that I know what the content of this um oil So our uh, all is very ready, friends. I'm super, super excited. Subscribe to our channel, friends. Give this video a like. Share this video to friends who may think they can benefit. Those who are having, uh, you know, issues with uh, hair loss, bad patches, you know, alopecia, snatched edges, thinning hairline. So thank you so much for watching. I'd best to see you in our next video.